Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dr. J in a boot because I managed to break a toe, but we're still doing good. And I have been asked a couple times about the twins basic electronics course that they're doing. And so I'm going to tell you guys run through their basic electronics course. Uh, my oldest speedster, he's doing a different electronics course and I'll tell you guys about that in a different video, but he's actually putting um, his builds and stuff up on their uh, YouTube page. But this is um, just a run through of the twins basic electronics course. We're using snap circuits and they're just in the first book and we're going through the books project by project. Okay, so um, I can show you basically uh, we're still in the first book projects one through 101 and as they do each build we talk about it we go over the concepts and then I just check them off as they do them so you guys can see they just um, we just check them off as they do them and then and where they do them this board my husband and salamander actually made this board and we got the idea off of Pinterest. I don't know if you guys have seen a Pinterest um, po a pin that says snap circuit wall. So this lady, she did a fabulous wall on snap circuits and we, I didn't really want anything that was gonna permanently attach to the wall. So this is not permanently attached. It has hangers on the back if we wanna put it up on the wall, but this is actually great because uh, what the twins would do was they would just lay the board down sometimes and build on the floor or they can build with the standing up it's up to them and let me hobble up <laughs> okay i made it Woo okay and as you guys can see they have these fasteners here and this was another thing because her board was was permanently attached i think the the snap circuit boards were permanently attached but these are not and so if they want to take a project off and do some troubleshooting they can or if they want to uh, finish a build separately away from each other if I'm giving them a challenge or something like that then they can take the boards off and then just bring them back when they're finished and also if they just want to play with the snap circuits they can just take the plates off the wall and then put them back and another thing that I like is that once we've kind of we're kind of done with snap circuits and we know we're finished they can just take all the plates out and then this board can be used for something else because it's all wood it's thick it's just really well made so uh salamander and daddy did a, did a great job in making it and it has 10 um snap circuit plates so basically what the twins will do is they will generally do about five builds at a time and each one will do five builds and we have a ton of snap circuit kits so we have enough pieces for each of them to be able to build pretty much any circuit um, individually. And every once in a while, they'll do one together. So that's one aspect of the course. Another thing that we have is this book. It is the student guide for snap circuits. And if you have the R models, which, is, which are the education models, it comes with the handbook. We do not have the education models. We just have a ton of snap circuit kits. And so I went ahead and ordered these because uh, they have different, they have more thorough explanations of the circuits than what you would just find in the books. So I really like that too, because they give really good examples and uh, challenges and more thorough experiments and they explain things a little better than what you or with a little more detail not not so much better but with a little more detail than what you'll find in the books another thing that we have them doing is each one has their own binder and in it they will actually draw out the circuits that they build for each project so as you can see this is the circuit for project number one and since snap circuits they you know these pieces they're completely safe that's why we're using them. Um, they, you really can't get hurt using them unless you really try. But we wanted to make sure that they were still, they still understood that they're learning true electronics. And so all of their circuits that they draw, they have all of the, the technical terms. And what my husband did was he uh, created this for each of them. 
and it basically tells them what the symbols mean and how to draw them. So as you can see on here, it says B1. And what is B1? That's a battery. And so he showed them what lines they needed to draw, how they can draw it parallel or vertical or horizontal, and also what the plus and minus means. So that as they're doing, you know, these circuits, as they're building, building them, they truly understand what they're doing, what they're building, what they're supposed to be getting out of it. Another thing that I have, I got this online. I found this, this is a Word document, and I found it doing a Google search, and um, it's based, it's an electronics parts and grid, a snap circuits parts and grid, and everything is movable. So it has this grid here, and every single one of these is just a picture. And all you have to do is drag it over to the, um, to the grid. And I love it because I can make little quizzes for them where I just drag the pieces over and then I may leave out a piece that is pertinent. And then they have to tell me why the circuit that I built won't work. Or I will put something in there. You can put it, you know, backwards. You can leave a part out, you know, all those things. And what they can do is if there's a piece missing from my grid, all they have to do is drag and drop it in the right spot in the grid. That's one way I do quizzes. And another way is just um, they can, I can build something and, and do something wrong. And then they will go through and they can try to do it on the board or they can just do it on the sheet and try to troubleshoot you know, what's the issue? What's the process you would go through to troubleshoot? Because that's another thing that they are learning in this basic electronics course is the troubleshooting process, which is basically, okay, if, if, if the light is supposed to come on and it doesn't come on, what steps do I take to troubleshoot? Because you want to learn to do that in an order that it makes sense and a way that makes sense. Because sometimes people go straight to, something that's more complicated than doing something simple. Like we want them to first look at, you know, is your switch to on? Okay, well, if it's to on, now let's check to make sure everything is fitted properly. Is everything fitted properly? Okay, now let's check your batteries, make sure, you know. So basically going through the process. So that is what the twins are doing for their basic electronics course. We are using snap circuits. And um, this kit, I think this kit was like the 750 project kit or something like that. I think we have like um, five or six books with this. And this is just the first book. This is the student guide. They also have a teacher guide, but I didn't really need the teacher guide. And it just has a few more thorough exam uh, explanations and experiments to use. It's more for an educational setting. If you have the education kit, it comes with the education kit, but if you don't have an education kit, you can just buy it separately. And then this is uh, just a Word document that I got offline where you can be, I can basically just move any of these parts, drop and drag them over here, copy them, and make whatever sort of build I want. And then eventually, they'll be able to plan their own circuits. And so they can plan on this grid and then build them on their wall. And then they can even give challenges to each other if they want to. And then the sheet that my husband made for them so that they could understand how to draw each of the components and use the right visuals. And then they do their building on a snap circuits. Uh, I guess this is not so much a wall, more like a door frame <laughs> or something like that. But we got this idea from a Pinterest post that I saw and it was called, it was a pin that was called a snap circuit wall. And the person had it um, actually attached to the wall of their child's bedroom. And so I hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the chat box. This is Dr. J and I'm out, bye-bye.